ओमकार में सुना था ना ओ दत्तात्रेया दत्तात्रेया विमूर्ति रूपा दत्तात्रेया त्रिगुणातीता दत्तात्रेया त्रिमूर्ति रूपा त्रिगुणातीता त्रिमूर्ति रूपा त्रिगुणातीता दत्तात्रेया 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 My pranams to all Atma Jyotis, divine light of the self. My pranams to all Atma Jyotis who are Dutta Sarupa. I welcome all of you for the celebration of Dutta Jayanti 2023. This is the third or second? This is the third year of celebration of Dutta Jayanti in the light of Self Foundation. Self Silence. So, we started with Dutta Rama Japa. Many Atma Jyotis together started chanting Dutta Rama Japa and celebrating Dutta Jayanti. As of today, how much we have done? As of today, Together, four lakh Dutta Nama Japa has been done. Forty lakhs. Forty, forty lakhs of Dutta Japa has been done. She is very modest and zero she is giving up. Okay. Zero has a lot of value, my dear. Okay. <laughs> forty lakh Dutta Japa and about 43 crore. Total Nama Japa, 43 crore Nama Japa has been done by Light of Foundation. Since Japa, I said Japa Mahima. What happens when we chant Japa? It creates a vibration in the universe. It is not just within the four walls. The energy trans moves in the total universe. Bringing auspiciousness in the whole of the universe. So that's why the japa which we do is for loka kalyana. Do not be under the impression that japa is only within the house or I am doing japa. The japa yadna the being done by light of foundation is for loka kalyana. I am very happy that we are actually crossing about 43 crore nama japa. This will create an energy field which will bring harmony and peace to the whole of the world and dharma will rejuvenate. So today is Dr. Jayanti. What is the significance of Dr. Jayanti? Dattavatara the avatar of Datta and Datta Parampare will contemplate why this avatar has happened. Three avatars will take up. Bhagavan Datta avatar, Shripada, Shrivallava avatar and Narasimha Sarasri avatar. There are many, many, many more avatars. We will focus on three avatars. We will understand Avatara Rahasya, the secret of Avatara. 
अवतार मीन्स गॉड टेकिंग अप ए फॉर्म वेदर ह्यूमन फॉर्म और एनिमल फॉर्म और एनिमल फॉर्म निर्गुण निराकार पर ब्रह्म appears as saguna there is no birth for avatar so there is no birth that's why avatar is celebrated as jayanti it is not a birthday there is no birthday for avatar so similarly there is no death day for avatar it is the day avatar disappeared avatar appears and disappears So we will never celebrate birthday and death day for the avatar. It's only appearance day. Like this Rama avatar, Krishna avatar, any avatar. What is the significance of Datta avatar? Like Krishna avatar or Rama avatar, there are two aspects involved in that. Dushta shikshana and shista rakshana. That means. Lot of destruction of the evil doers will happen. Those who do adharma will be punished, and those who are on the righteous path will be protected when avatar happens. That's what happened in Krishna avatar. That's what happened in Rama avatar, and that's what happens when Sri Rama manifests in Ayodhya on the twenty-second of January. Twenty second of January, Bhagavan Rama will appear again in Ayodhya. It's called Archa Avatar. The Archa Avatar, the day Archa Avatar appears, lot of changes will happen in the world. Rama Avatar is always for Dushta Nigra, Shista Rakshana, destruction of the evil. And protection of the dharma. We pray to Rama, Bhagwan Rama, to appear on this occasion. Shri Ram, Jaya Ram, Jaya Jaya Rama, Shri Ram, Jaya Ram, Jaya Jaya Rama. So avatar has dushta migraha, shista rakshana. Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhuta naam adharmasya tadatmanaam shajamiham. This is the teaching of Sri Krishna. Wherever there is a increase of adharma. i will manifest myself in the form of avatar for destruction of the evil and protection of dharma this is the promise this is the words of shri krishna our bharata is a punya bhumi no other part of the world so many avatars so many saints so many sadgurus so many mahatmas so many buddhas have appeared this is a holy land Punya Bhumi. In this land, Bhagwan Dattatreya appeared. Unlike avatars of Rama or Krishna, or Parshurama for that matter, Datta avatar is for yoga avatar, teaching of yoga. Sri Krishna avatar is for dharma sastapra, establishing dharma. Rama is again establishing the dharma. Datta avatar is to establish yoga parampara. It's called yoga avatar. In yoga avatar, there is no destruction of evil. There is no war. There is only teaching. Understand what Bhagwan Datta Tree has done. Datta Tree has established is the first sannyasi. First sannyasi. He is Adi Guru. He has established the Sanyasa Parampara in the society. How to become one? And he has established he established the Yoga Parampara 
by initiating Goraknath. Goraknath and Goraknath Parampara is called Nata Parampara. There is a speciality in this Parampara. Goraknath means Gorakshanath, one who is protector of cow. Cow is the mother. People consider that we have to, we, as Indians used to do worship cow for because of, they give milk. It's an economic commodity. No. There's a very different reason for worship of cow. I'll take it in another occasion. Goraknath, the monks were given the responsibility of protection of the cow. India became the largest exporter of beef in the world. In last people, a couple of years, India became the largest exporter of beef in the world. In India, when people protested in front of the parliament, the cow has to be protected. Firing was done on the group. Many monks, sannyasis died. So this is the country which worshipped mother, cow as the mother. So Goraknath, Adi Guru Dattatreya gave the response to Goraknath. In that Goraknath tradition, today you have Yogi Adityanath. And he has become the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh. And you have to see how he is bringing back dharma in the most lawless state in the India. One day, he will be the Prime Minister of India. The responsibility of Gorak, Rakshan have go. So that was initiated by Adi Guru Dattatreya. You have to see how, the, how dharma flows, how our country is protected by Bhagavan. So this tradition will continue. The Goraknath was initiated by Bhagavan Dattatreya. And Goraknath tradition are well versed in yoga. They are yoga siddhas. So Bhagavan Dattatreya did two things, established dharma, established a tradition of monks, sannyasis, who will take care of dharma in the form of Goraknath tradition. Even today we can see the effect of what Bhagavan Dattatreya has done. In the days you will see how dharma will be established by Goraknath tradition. This is Bhagavan Dattatriya Avatara. He did another thing. He gave the teaching of Sri Vidya. One is Yoga, another is Jnana. Sri Vidya to Parushurama. Sri Vidya tradition is Upasana tradition. Meditation. Upasana is done for Ishtakamya Siddhartam. Whatever desires we have to fulfill, Upasana is done. Devi Upasana. So there is also another important aspect of that. Shri Vidya means Divine Mother. Divine Mother takes care of Bhukti, success in life in various ways. Shri Vidya Upasana has to be done in a very strict way, very disciplined way. There are a lot of practices you do in a very strict way. A Upasaka, by doing this practice, develops a discipline in life. At the same time, your bhukti, success comes, siddhis come in various ways. As the Upasaka gets more and more faith, Sri Vidya takes him to, the mother, Divine Mother Sri Vidya takes him to Atmadhana. Real meaning of Sri Vidya is Atmadhana. The purpose of bhukti is to give faith in the child, 
faith in the devotee so that devotee start gradually going to satma dana the discipline and discipline imbibed during shri vidya upasana plus whatever you get in life siddhis will encourage him to travel on the journey of shri vidya the shri vidya now here comes what upasana you do shri vidya outside it becomes internalized inner journey your whole body becomes shri chakra shri chakra is the instrument it use for upasana in the outside shri chakra is the cosmic model model of the cosmos this macrocosm brahmanda so that becomes the internalized spinnanda so that upasana will sadhak take sadhaka kundalini energy gets awakened energy moves into adna and sahasrara shakti meets the shiva bestowing the mukti so this is the contribution of bhagwan parashurama a uh, bhagwan dattatreya through dattatreya to prashrama he gave the teaching of shividya to goraknath parampara he gave the teachings of yoga and when the systems are established you have to imagine these are thousands of years of history it's not one day two day in the modern day world you establish an organization within few days it collapses these organizations these institutions are running over thousands of years time to time they get rejuvenated that is the power of the divine our country is blessed with this parampara so dattatreya has many avatars out of that the nata sampradaya yogins navanatas they call navanatas and their descendants they are all dattamsha sambhuta there are many institution of dattamsha they are also amsha avatar of dattatreya so our country is blessed by datta bhagwan yoga parampara what did modi ji do first thing he came he established as yoga as a international practice yoga benefitly felt all over the world so these are the systems which are there in india we have to be very grateful to be born in this country to mother india no where in the world such blessing of god is there such blessing of bhagwan is there so dattatreya avatara is avadhuta then dattatreya two subsequent avatara there is this is an earlier period so dattatreya two subsequent avatars in treta yuga treta yuga is thousands of years back subsequent two avatars in kali yuga shripada shrivallabha and narasimha saraswati shripada shrivallabha avatar is for yogic tradition narasimha saraswati avatar is for yati or mag tradition so let us understand what is avadhuta what is yogi what is yati what is the importance of these three avatars next so let us have next session chant guru gita avadhuta means atmadhani avadhuta means jeevan mukta all jeevan mukta sir not avadhuta all atmadhani sir not avadhuta some of the atmadhani some of the jeevan mukta can become avadhuta so to understand very clearly avadhuta is a jnani all jnani sir not avadhuta some jnani sir avadhuta other jnani sir not avadhuta so what is the meaning of avadhuta a means no negation 
வ மீன்ஸ் வாசனா து மீன்ஸ் தூளி கிருதா த மீன்ஸ் தத் அவதூதா மீன்ஸ் ஒன் ஹூ ஹாஸ் டிஸ்ட்ராய்ட் ஆல் வாசனாஸ் லைக் டஸ்ட் த மீன்ஸ் தத் ஹூ இஸ் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் இன் பிரம்மன் தத் மீன்ஸ் தத்துவமசி தத் பிரம்மன் one who is established is avadhuta first of all he has to destroy all vasanas kama krodha madha matsara moha loba and main vasana is adnana one who has attained jivatma paramatma viveka ekatva and realized tat as brahman as a self so which means avaduta definition is common to all jivan mukta and nanis nothing different about it but still some people are called avadutas some people are called nanis to understand the difference between nani and avaduta we have to remember the story of vasa bhagavan vasa maharshi Vyasamarshi is a great Mahatma, Nani. He had a son called Shukacha, Shuka, Shukamuni. Vyasamarshi and Shukamuni. Muni means one who is silent. Vyasamarshi is one who teaches. So Shukamuni, as he grows up, he has no interest in the world he doesn't even have the interest in wearing the clothes also he walks naked why the clothes you use to cover yourself clothes you makes you fit into the society if you don't wear clothes you will be thrown out of the society actually people communicate a lot through their clothes if you see monks they will wear a saffron cloth to show to the society that i am separate from you the clothes indicate my whatever i am whatever my principles are what i am trying to do in life the moment you wear a saffron cloth you are out of the society people not mix with you you are separating yourself if you wear a white cloth so then again it's a indication to the society buddhists wear yellow clothes Hindu sannyasis wear saffron clothes. Saffron clothes represents nana. Yellow represents death. Reminding death. White represents peace. So the clothes represent your lifestyle, your lifestyle and what you stand for. The moment you change the cloth to a cloth to a particular, a particular situation, you will find yourself separate from the society in some way. Bhagavan Mahavira didn't wear a single piece of cloth. Why did they do this like this? Because they want to be separate from the society, outcast from the society. All society interactions they will drop. So Bhagavan Mahavira is fully into the society. He is creating way of Richards, he is creating a uh, uh puranas and he is creating building the gurukula he has to attain the system whether his son is not into his society he wants to get out of society doesn't have the clothes also so can you see the difference vedana sabashi is also dani shukamuni is also dani vedana arsha noshi is fully into the society 
that Ashoka Muni is not into the society. Those people who are not fitting into society are called Avadutas. So Avaduta, he doesn't adhere to any customs and norms in the society. Because it's a cultural conditioning. So come out of all conditioning. Whereas, doesn't mean that Vedas is greater than uh, smaller than Shukamani is greater than Avaduta and Nani, there's no difference internally. But their behaviors are different. Vedavyasa Maharshi follows all rules of this society. All systems of society. Because he has to be inside the society to correct the society. Avaduta is outside the society and correct the society. So he says, whatever you are doing is meaningless. Be free. That's the teaching of Avaduta. Whereas, Vedavyasa Maharshi is inside the society follows the orders of society and tries to build education system for the society. Both are Gnanis. As Gnana wise, both, there is no difference. But behavior is there is a difference. One who has a behavior which doesn't fit in society, who shows a free behavior, is called Avaduta. Both are Gnanis. Gnana wise, there is no difference. But behavior is there. Veda Yasamashi is in the society and trying to correct the society. Whereas Shukamuni is outside the society and correct the society. To his freedom, he is teaching the society. Veda Yasamashi building up education system and teaching. So. That's the difference. So if you are inside the society, then you should follow a certain order. Then Shukamuni keeps walking. There are many women who are taking a bath. They are naked. They continue to take a bath. Vedava Samarshi follows Sukamani. Hey Putra, Putra, O oh son, don't go. Sukamani keeps on walking. I have no father. I am not your son. Whose son, who, who, is called, who, who are you to call me as father? I am not born. <laughs> That's where he goes. So then, Vediyasa follows. Suddenly, when Vediyasa comes, all the women who are uh, taking bath naked, they, they run to run and uh, cover their with clothes. Vediyasa asks them, My son was naked while walking. You are not covering your son. When, when I came, I am wearing full clothes. But still you are covering yourself. What is the problem? What is the difference? They say, when Shukamani walked, he is not aware that he is not wearing a dress also. He is full of bliss of Brahman. He is like a child. We don't care whether a child is naked or wearing a dress. But when you came, you are still body conscious. You are no doubt one with Brahman. But you have body consciousness. Okay? So that's why we become body conscious. So this is the difference between a Dnami and Avadut. Nityananda Avaduta. The photo is there in my house. Bhagavan Nityananda of Ganesh Pri. He is fully immersed in Brahma, Brahman. Actually, to the extent that uh, somebody will take him somebody has to feed him, somebody, somebody has to take a bath. He's like a child. Completely become like a child. He used to stay at Ganeshpuri a few a few kilometers away from Bombay. That time, people have to go by bus and a lot of difficulty they have to go. People used to stand in a queue to have darshan. Nityanda Avaduta, he is an Avaduta. When people come, he may not speak also. When people come with the desire for money and material, he will throw a stone at them. You come for money. But people take the stone and do puja. And their desires will be fulfilled. So Avaduta's behavior is unpredictable. He's like a child. And Nani's behavior is more predictable. 
because he is there whether uh, shri krishna shri krishna paramatma or uh, vedivas maharshi or uh, uh, janaka raja they are all great nanis but they maintain order in the society so that's why there are four orders in the society avas ashrama brahmacharya grahastha vanapastha sanyasa but there's one more ashrama it's called atita ashrama four ashramas brahmacharya grahastha vanapastha sanyasa and fifth ashrama is called atita ashrama so dani and avadhuta belong to atita ashrama this ashrama vyavastha you can think it's a schooling system it's a education system in brahmacharya you go to school education you'll get a brahma upadesha brahma upadesha means upanayam where you are taught you are brahman tattvasi then for that practice you do in the gurukula gurukula is you learn your secular education dharma vidya and all the things then also you do karma yoga service you do upasana or you do yajna havana rituals the purpose of rituals is to bring discipline and karma yoga and their lifestyle is tuned to realize brahman that's why it's called brahmacharya mind constant they will not realize but mind is discipline is built and the karma yoga is built in the rash then they go to grahastha ashrama grahastha ashrama you have to do panche yajna five yajnas and you have to earn for your livelihood and you have to bring up your children in such a way that they become good citizens so grahastha ashrama primary responsibility dharma panche yajna deva yajna pitra yajna manusha yajna bhuta yajna rishi yajna then he goes to vanapastha ashrama vanapastha ashrama he has a responsibility of upasana meditation and teach others then finally sanyas ashrama there is no responsibility fully focus on god so brahmacharya grahastha vanapastha sanyasa all of them are designed for atmadnara dharma artha kama moksha so dharma artha kama is predominant in grahastha ashrama dharma artha kama Dhrastha Ashrama is for taking you to Moksha, liberation. For that you have to take Vanapastha and Sanyasa. Brahmacharya prepares you for Dhrastha Ashrama. So now, there is one more Ashrama beyond that. These four Ashramas you can think as a schooling system. So what do you call as somebody who has graduated, who has become Dhani already? The whole purpose of four Ashrama is to become Dhana, Atma Dhana. If you have become Dhani, then what do you call? the dani is called atita ashrami he is beyond ashrama so atita ashrami of dani is two types like vedavyasa maharshi or like avaduta so dattatreya bhagwan belongs to avaduta category any questions so so buddha say buddha actually why buddha where buddha prescribed yellow dress so buddha teaching starts with life is suffering dukkhamaya the <laughs> the buddha says first actually when i heard my buddha teaching right my, my i had a colleague of mine who uh, is a follower of buddhism he is a uh, Quite for many years, he had a beard, and he has always eyes are like this. He looks always depressed to me, but I was always joyful, right? He tells Prabhu, follow teaching of Buddha. I asked him what is Buddha. At that time, I didn't know. But Buddha, Buddha teaches says life is suffering. I said, what kind of pessimist Buddha is? Life is a joy. I told him. For me, life was a joy. So Buddha is. A pessimist. Why should you follow a pessimist? That's my idea at that time. Buddha says life is suffering, but he doesn't stop there. You can come out of suffering by nirvana. That's what he says. I had only first teaching. Buddha is life is suffering. I said no, no, no. I don't want to get into such teachings. A negative teaching. This really happened. Okay. So then, uh, of course, I later I understood Buddha's teaching. 
So that's why life is suffering. But there's a way to come out of life suffering through and get nirvana. That's why I said. The Buddha, when anybody comes to the disciple of Buddha, he will immediately send them to Smashana. Okay? First few months, you just observe their bodies. So bodies will come, they'll get burnt. Okay? So then, gradually it sinks in you. At any point of time, I'll also be there. So life is temporary. First teaching of Buddha is life is temporary. Okay? Any time, I can also be on the other side. Second reason Buddha gives a teaching. Go to Smashana. Because when the bodies are burnt, you'll see the insides of the body. The bones, skeleton, and all those things. So, at that time, they didn't have a PowerPoint and PPT to tell what is the internals of the body. So, Buddha's teaching gives importance to observe the body, observe the body, observe the internals. So, Buddha says, go inside. Be aware of your internal organs. Observing the dead body gives a feel for what is the internal organ. So, it's a way of learning. Learning two things. One is detachment and other is what is inside me. So, the Buddha and uh, the, the typically yellow color is associated with the dead bodies. So, Buddha told the monks to wear yellow color to remember that every moment is temporary. Every moment life is chanika. In reality, it is chanika, temporary. When you breathe in, life comes into us. When you breathe out, life goes. But we think that we'll die one day. What we don't understand is moment to moment, body is becoming alive and dead. So to remember that, Buddha gave teaching of yellow crown. Whereas, Sanyasi and Sanatana Dharma, they are giving saffron robe. Saffron robe is Nana. So they say, I am wearing saffron robe. And with Nana, I am burning moment to moment. <laughs> Who is that I am? Nanu, Nanembodu, Nanalla, Ideha, Manabuddhi, Nanalla, Tachidanandatma, Shiva Nanai, Shivoham, Shivoham, Shivoham. Moment to moment, you have to burn yourself with Nana. What is burning? I am the body, I am the mind, and the intellect concept should burn. So that's why they were happened to. Any more questions? So, Harikata. Avduta, behavior does not fit into society, but doesn't mean that uh, he will violate anything in the society. He will make sure his behavior is a teaching, his life is a teaching for the society. So, Avduta doesn't possess anything. Freedom from all positions is Avduta. So many times we speak of Avduta as Digambara. So Digambara has two meanings. Anything in spirituality has a double meaning. One is a social meaning and in a spiritual meaning. Adi Bhautika and Adhyatmika. So Digambara, in a sense, Adi Bhautika means one who doesn't wear the cloth. Digambara. The space is the cloth. So that's what Akka Mahadevi did. She threw out all the garments and she walked. So not wearing a cloth is Digambara from the social context. But really Digambara has a spiritual meaning. Atma wears the body. The body is the cloth of the Atma. Body is the dress for the Atma. So when body becomes old, Atma throws the body and goes into another body. Vasamsi jinani yata vihaya Sri Krishna says Bhagavad Gita. So old dress we throw out and we take up the new dress. So the real dress for the body is the uh, Atma, is the body. So the Gambara really in a sense means somebody who has realized I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect, I am pure consciousness. One who has realized Nanu, Nanem Budu, Nanalla, Ideha, Manabuddhi, Nanalla, Satidanandatma, Shivanan Nani, Shivoham, Shivoham, Shivoham. 
only when you realize you are not the body by the intellect you become bigamma otherwise you wear the dress or wear don't wear the dress doesn't matter you are not bigamma now modern days i was going in an aircraft okay one lady was wearing all torn dresses so almost bigamma <laughs> function so everyone was there okay otherwise ಅನುಸೂಯಸ್ <laughs> Anusuya was very famous for her Pativratya. What is this Pativratya business? In modern day women don't understand this Pativratya business at all. What kind of old day women? What kind of outdated concept is this? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. All these useless concepts are somebody who has put it. See, Pativratya, also what it means is that all of us in our life, we are poor placed in the position. A job. a minister a prime minister or employee or even a butcher any job we don't have choice in our job we can't escape from the job the woman is placed in the job of a housewife she has no escape right earlier days there was no concept of divorce also okay <laughs> so the challenge is decision in life are difficult it's not easy you have to live you have to take care of your family you have to take care of uh, in laws and extended family at the same time you have to do your sadhana and imagine in those days get up early in the morning do all the work until late night you don't have any time left to you how do you do sadhana the woman who found a day whatever work i am doing for husband or the child or the family i will do it as a offering to god when i do it as a offering to god then that itself becomes a puja so i am doing kandishir puja and that qualified them for patirata so do not be under the illusion that patirata means one who worships the husband as a body pati means please understand the word pati pati comes from the word palayati palayati one who protects me is pati who protects me ishvara okay to see the god in husband see the god in children converting all your work into service is called patirata in the modern day context we don't understand this because we don't know what is god and we don't care for the husband so then why is this concept of patirata <laughs> <laughs> so patirata please understand if you mistake this understanding then what happened there was uh, actually i uh, have during the exercise session one husband and wife came they are uh, 70 plus the wife has a complaint wife has a complaint see they are married for 40 years the husband doesn't allow the wife to do any puja he says for wife husband is god okay and wife has both her wife has complained 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 my husband doesn't do your need to do any puja at all he says he is god for me okay that's not the meaning of patirata patirata means there is god in the husband this god is in everybody it is not about the body it is what is there power in the body the consciousness of chaitanyam the chaitanya means god pati pati is parayati understand if you understand uh, the spiritual teaching which is very wrong your whole idea will get corrupted and you will start troubling others see the god in the family members and do whatever you do as a service 
then they become pulpit anusha was pratibhata and her fame was spread all over the world so narada tells this to lakshmi durga saraswati lakshmi durga lakshmi parvati and saraswati so they get jealous how can they be we are the devotas she is greater than us they said na lakshmi narayana uh, vishnu uh, shiva and uh, brahma to test the, this lady they come they come in the form monks bahut hi bhiksha de hi give bhiksha so she comes out to give bhiksha then say you have to serve us naked then what she does she puts the uh, water on them and then converts them into child then she becomes naked and feeds them so it appears to you very crazy story how they gods can come and ask a woman to get dressed and dressed right and then serve here this every story of sanatan is a spiritual meaning one is physical and other spiritual spiritual level meaning in front of god we have to become naked we should not hide we should empty ourselves then god will become our children so that's that with that idea when you go to temple people are asked to remove shirt bare your chest that's the meaning is not to do with shirt is nothing to do wearing shirt or not wearing shirt in front of the god bare don't hide that's the meaning so then the god becomes child so that is the see every sanatan dharma culture has one act one uh, aspect it looks very odd at the outer level at the deeper level there's a deeper inner signature so then and what is lakshmi durga saraswati De- lakshmi durga saraswati devatas how they can get jealous they are such a great beings it's not that they became jealous they wanted to show the greatness of anusuya okay anusuya means anusuya one who has no jealousy atri means who has gone beyond three gunas this is at the adi bhautika level any story in india has three meanings adi bhautika adi bhautika adi bhautika adhyatmika at the adhyatmika level atri atri means our intellect intellect is husband mind is the wife manas and buddhi manas is the wife buddhi is the husband so buddhi should be going beyond three guna sattva guna rajo guna tamo guna that means dani manas should be manas is always full of kama krodha madavatsara moha loba jalasi anger hatred the manas has become chitta shuddhi has happened and buddhi has become clear the purity of the heart and clarity of the intellect is what is in the journey atri anusuya inside us then the divine child called dattatreya is born dattatreya so this is a brahma vishnu maheshwara are born as chandra durvasa and uh, dattatreya so they give the amsha to dattatreya and then dattatreya becomes the adi guru and he learns from nature prakriti so the teaching for our purpose is we can learn from the prakriti nature so that is the story of dattatreya any spiritual story in india has outer meaning and inner meaning if you miss the inner meaning you will only misunderstand the story so dattatreya avadhuta has to be born in our life that means our mind the intellect has to be pure with nana shavana mana vidyasa our chitta has to be purified anusuya purity of the heart and clarity of the intellect then a nana is born that's called dattatreya and he is amsha trimurti guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwarah guru sakshat para brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha so guru 
who is the destroyer of ignorance is brahma swarupi vishnu swarupi and shiva swarupi and he is parabrahma himself that's why the guru brahma guru vishnu guru dev or maheshwara the stotra applies directly to that ishvara has creation sustenance and destruction as brahma vishnu maheshwara and as sadguru he has a role of destroying the ignorance so he is sadguru is brahma because he creates the desire for atmadana he is vishnu because he protects the desire for atmadana through teaching and satsanga and he is a destroyer of ignorance by teaching he tries to hit this ignorance that's a guru guru is sadguru is brahma vishnu maheshwara sarupa he is none other than parabrahma parabrahma functioning through the body mind complex is called sadguru ಒಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದತ್ತ ಜಯಂತಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಟು ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ now don't think dattatreya is a person dattatreya is dattha principle principle of dattatreya the wisdom the guru which can be born in any of our life that is called dattha jayanti any questions sita around 13th and 14th century was extremely difficult period in india turbulent period in india so much of uh, violence so much of uh, destruction of uh, temples was happening at that time any time in difficulty is there the society is in difficulty bhagwan takes the form as avatar dattatreya bhagwan took the form of shripad shivallava to sumati sumati nandana and appala raju Appala Raju and Sumati Nandana, they were doing one function. Many Brahmins were invited. They were sitting for Bhojana. So then one monk comes and says, Bhavati Bhikshan Dehi. Then Sumati sees Dattatreya in that monk and gives food to him. So we have two types of people coming to the house. One is called Atiti. and other is called abhyagata atiti means who may invite abhyagata is one who comes uninvited some somebody comes invited atiti and abhyagata is uninvited so uninvited guest has come now the social order the protocol is atiti should be given first food and abhyagata should be given later invited guest should be served first and uninvited guest should be served later but she breaks the protocol because she sees datta bhagwan in the abhyagata the monk other brahmins who are sitting there for food they got angry you didn't serve us you are serving somebody was come but datta bhagwan is pleased with her and she is he is born as shri pada 
Sripada. His name is Sripada by birth. The Sripada is called Sripada. Pada means in the foot. In the foot, the marks of Bhagavan are there. Shanka Chakra, Gada Padma. In the foot. See, in our hands some marks are there. In foot some marks are there. In a sense, mark of Sri Pada, Shanka Chakra, Gada Padma. In a sense, literal sense, there is a physical mark. In a spiritual sense, <laughs> in a spiritual sense, we have to understand, foot means the way we walk in our life, the way we lead in our life, how we live in our life. One who feels the path of Vishnu, one who goes in the path of Bhagavan Vishnu, one who takes the direction of Bhagavan is real Sri Pada. It's not about the physical mark. It is the direction you take in your life. So just check up your feet what marks are there. <laughs> it is not. Uh, <laughs> so some lines will be there. <laughs> and confused lines also. <laughs> So, it is not about the physical line, it is about the path which you are taking in your life, what route you are taking in your life. He was Sri Pada, going towards the divine. And one of the characteristics of avatar, the avatars have many characteristics. One characteristic of avatar sometimes is by birth, no teaching is required. No guru is required. So, Dattatra didn't have any guru. Dattatra said, Prakriti is my guru. Sri Pada didn't have a guru. He was wise by birth. That is one of the signs of very highly evolved beings. But, even avatars, like Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, when they are born, they have some evolved characteristics. They were evolved beings. But they didn't have full dhara. They had divine qualities, but not full dhara. Dhana by birth is not there. Mata Amritadamai At the time of birth itself, wisdom was there. But still, what avatars do, they forget their nana and pretend if they don't know. Why? For the purpose they have come, for the purpose they have to pretend. Mata Amrita Mai, started chanting name of Krishna, Bhagavan, thrown out of the house, then realized God in a seashore. A young girl <coughs> seeking God and realizing God from a fisherman community is a teaching. For teaching purpose, Avatars may appear like they don't know. But that is the teaching. So, the beauty of a Sadguru or beauty of Avatar is their life is the teaching. Through their life they start teaching. <coughs> Ramakrishna Paramahamsa appeared to be seeking God, crying God, okay, crying for God. He was almost ready to commit suicide for God. Married Mother Sharda Devi and then realized God 
Whereas God in various forms. So if it's an avatar, should you not, not know in the beginning itself? It all depends on what is the avatar karya, what is the purpose of avatar. Sri Krishna before his birth or birth of Jayanti, he he doesn't forget because his life is under threat all the time. Kamsa is ready to kill the baby also, baby also. So from day one, Sri Krishna has to show the avatar Shakti. So his avatar is destruction of the evil. And there's no time. The destruction of the evil starts from the day he is born. The Asuras will attack. So Sri Krishna always had a vast crystal clear light. He is Brahman. He is Paramatma. And he had divine powers. No point of time Sri Krishna had forgotten. So the avatar karya of Krishna is Dushta Nashana. Avatars behave in different ways. Whereas Rama, Avatara is Purushottama. How as a human being, at various stages of life, you have to follow Dharma. He, pre, he behaved as if he is a great human, human being. He is a Purushottama. Whereas Krishna behaved as if he is Bhagavan, taking birth, day from Brahmdevan. Depends on what is the Avatara Karya. Sripada Vallabha, Sripada, Right from the childhood, his inclination is towards the God. And uh, historians say that uh, there are marks of Vishnu in the Pada. In reality, I understand that his inclination was towards the God right from the beginning. And he used them. No, without any teaching, he started teaching the non to people at the age of seven. So, this is one of the characteristics of Avatar, or highly evolved beings. So at the age of 16, mother wanted to wanted him to marry. He said, I am already married. Whom have you married? I have married Vairagya Shri. Vairagya is detachment. I am already married Vairagya Shri. That's why he became Shri Pada Vallabha. Shri Pada Shri Vallabha. The Shri there is Vairagya. Vallabha means husband. Shri Pada is birth name. Shri Vallabha is the name because I am married to Vairagya. I don't want any marriage. Then he blessed his two brothers who were not physically well so that they can take care of the parent and he left for Loka Kalyan. Now, one is Sri Pada and Sri Pada Sri Vallabha was the Dattatraya Rupa who taught to Nata Sampadaya Yoga. That's why he is called Sri Pada Sri Vallabha Yogi. So, in Dattatraya Bhagavan Dattatraya, the teaching is of a Avaduta and Atmadhan is life. Sripada Srivala life teaching is about yoga, karma yoga, bhakti yoga, kriya yoga, hatha yoga. This path is very suitable for householders. Yoga means there is two. In the two, I want to find oneness. There is two, but in two, I want to find oneness. That's called yoga. Yoga marga is very suitable for householders because they have to maintain the two-ness by working, earning some money. At the same time, they have to find oneness. Two in one. Two-ness is equal, oneness is equal. Whereas Jnana marga, a pure Jnana marga is suitable for sannyasis. Jagat Mitya, Brahman only Satya. So, that is sannyasis. So, that Sanyasa avatara is Narasimha Sarasthi for Sanyasa teaching. 
whereas yoga marga teaching which is suitable for all householders pass shri pad shivala so avaduta or nani's way of life is dattatreya how to live our life in yogic way is shri pad shivala then comes the avatar of narasimha sarasvati later So, Sri Pada Sri Vallabha, we respect by saying, Digambara, Digambara, Sri Pada Vallabha Digambara, Sri Pada Vallabha Digambara, Sri Pada Vallabha Digambara, Audumbara, Audumbara, नरसिंह सरस्वती औदंबरा वाइल श्रीपाद वल्लभ वॉज बॉर्न फॉर द डिजायर ऑफ मदर सुमति सो भगवान हैज टू इन वर्क पर्पस एनी टाइम धर्म संस्थापन धर्म संस्थापन वॉज दुष्ट निग्रह शिष्ट रक्षण and blessing the devotees shri krishna was born to bless gopikas who have been craving for darshan of shri krishna shri pad shivalabha was born to bless sumati to fulfill the desire of mother sumati if you are craving for bhagwan Bhagavan will become avatar in our life, in all of our life. That's called Abhyatma. Can we have God in our heart as avatar? That's why we celebrate avatar, birthday of avatar. Or that's why we celebrate Jayanti. It's incidental that Tattata was born to Atri and Arasuya. It's incidental that uh, Sripada Srivalava was born to Subhadi. If you have devotion to Bhagavan, Bhagavan can be born in our life. Avatar can happen within us. In us. The divine child can be born in us. To remember that we celebrate Jayanti. He is Bhagavan. Born in your life. Has avatar of God has happened in your heart? Has God come in your life? If you have devotion, Bhagavan will appear in your life. That is the avatar. Adhyatmika level. The divine qualities manifest in your life. <coughs> I sent the video of Sri Ramabhadracharya. Some of you see it. He is blind by birth. Jagat Guru Ram Bhadracharya, devotee of Sri Rama. Hanuman is known for his knowledge. If you look at Ram Bhadracharya's life, you will understand how vast his knowledge. He has not seen in the world at all in his life eyes. But you ask anything, he has an understanding. Much beyond what our human people in the side can see. Tremendous wisdom. His Jnana Chakshi is fully open. Sri Rama has appeared in life. Can Bhagavan come in our life as avatar? Did you seek it? And Sri Ram Bhadracharya was called for court case. Actually, he went to Ayodhya agitation. There was a firing by police. All people ran away. Ram Bhadracharya didn't move. Then police came and hit him. His hand is broken. And you see, while he is talking also, he will be chanting God's name, Rama. Any activity, Rama's name is not forgotten. 
Indira Gandhi came and said, we'll do surgery for your eyes. So that you can, she sent a surgeon. Ram Badraja said, no. I want to, I am only seeing Rama. Other than Rama, I don't want to see the world. And listen to the description of Rama, he says. Beautiful description of Rama. Every person, a blind person can see Rama. Nana Chakshi has opened. You ask anything. Before you complete this question, his answers are there. Wisdom. Actually, for Ramajan Mumbai, one Muslim judge was there. The questions were asked. Is there proof of Rama in? No. Is there proof of Rama in uh, Veda? In Upanishad? Uh, in uh, Purana? Jagat Guru Shankar Rama uh, Rambhadrachara Pracharya. He gives exact shloka, line number, shloka number from 10 scriptures. <laughs> with eyes he can do it. He can't do it with eyes. <laughs> which shloka? Which place? Then he said, the, the Muslim judge asked him, tell me where is the proof of Rama, Rama in uh, uh, this thing? What is Ayodhya? He said, from Saruyu River, you go this many steps, take a left turn, go there, take a right turn, that is the place you will find these, these, these things. A blind man telling. And then they go there, exactly at the same place. And this he quotes from Veda. You ask him any subject. If somebody yesterday in the interview asked him, Are you, do you know constitution? He said, ask me anything in constitution. He will tell line by line, which even constitution person who has written the constitution cannot see. <laughs> you ask me anything. So that is the type of infinite wisdom which opens up when you have devotion. Then he was asked questions in the court by actually so much of opposition is there and they put very probing questions. He gave 465 proofs of Rama in that place and told these are things you will find. Out of 465, after doing the digging, they found 440 exact items which he said. Now you tell me, what is this? Can God come in our life? Yes. Do we seek it? What are we seeking? We are seeking relationship, money. What are we seeking? Are we really seeking God? Sumati's devotion brought Sri Pada Sri Vallava. Similarly, there is another mother, mother, Mata Bhavani. She in her past life had sought Dattatre's blessing to have a son. Dattatre has the son. So was born Narahari. Narahari didn't even open his mouth from childhood. They thought parents are worried. But at the time of birth, all children cry. This child made a sound of Om Kar. Om. After that, he didn't speak. Then parents were worried. Then he said, he will speak after Upanayanam, seven, seven years. And at seven years, the Upanayanam was performed. Suddenly, he started taking all the Vedantic teachings. Vedanta, Veda, Upanishads, he started teaching. So, Nana without any Guru. Then he left his house, took sannyasa. When you take sannyasa, the Saraswati title is given. So, whereas Sri Pada Yati, the yogi, a formal sannyasa was taken by Narasimha Saraswati. 
Saraswati, the typical Saraswati title is for somebody who teaches. Teaching is, they keep on teaching Vedas and Upanishads to students. So, Saraswati, Narasimha Saraswati upheld the life of Sanyasa Ashrava. Dattatre held upheld the life of Nani. Sripada Srivalava held the upheld the life of Yogi. Yogi, Yati, Sanyasi and Nani. These are the three teachings of three avatars of Dattatreya. That Sripada Srivalava meditate under Audumbara tree. And in Ganigapura, people go with who are possessed with ghosts, demons, they get a relief. In reality, our ghosts and demons are our Adnana. <laughs> our mind is concentrating at the past and future. And only solution for that is Dana, Atma Dana. That is the teaching of Narasimha Saraswati. Audumbara, Audumbara, Narasimha Saraswati. Audumbara, 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 Narasimha Saraswati. Audumbara, on the occasion of Dattajayanti 2023. Let us all seek, pray for incarnation of Bhagawan, avatar of Bhagawan in our heart. If you are sincere, that will happen. From the depth of our being, if we call Bhagawan in our life, Bhagawan will have avatar. You don't have to feel jealousy about Sumati or Martha Bhavani. <laughs> You can also have a child. No, no, I'm already too old. I have already two children. <laughs> they are all biological children. You have a divine child in your heart. A divine, you can give birth to a divine child in your life. Bhagwan can be avatar in all of our life. So that exactly is why we celebrate Jayanti of enlightened beings. Datta Jayanti 2023. Let us conclude with the Sankalpa. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat, Para Brahma, Tasmai Shri, Guru Venamaha, Hey Bhagavan, Hey Dutta Bhagavan, on the occasion of Guru Purnima, Dutta Purnima, Dutta Jayanti. 2023, we pray to bless all of us, purity of intellect, clarity of heart, purity of heart, clarity of intellect. May Atri be born in us with a clear intellect. May Mother, Mother, Mother Anusuya appear in our mind. Purity of heart. May divine child Datta be born in our life. Bless all of us. Bless our family. May path of yoga, nana, vairagya, atmanu mokshatam, jagajitaya be ours. Show us the path of wisdom. Sit silently.
असतोमा सद्गमया रमसोमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा अमृतम गमया ओम शांति 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 ही पूर्णमदह पूर्णमिदम पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्छते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाया पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 ही नानु नानेम बुद्ध नानल्ला यदेह मन बुद्धि नानल्ला सचिदानंदात्मा शिवानं नानी शिवोहम 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 आत्मदर्शनम ब्रह्मदर्शनम ब्रह्मदर्शनम सत्यदर्शनम अंतर्ज्योति ही बहिर ज्योति ही प्रत्येक ज्योति ही परात परा ज्योति रेव ज्योति ही स्वयं ज्योति ही आत्म ज्योति ही शिवस में हम लोकाह समस्ता सुकिनो बबंतु लोकाह समस्ता सुकिनो बबंतु लोकाह समस्ता सुकिनो बबंतु हरि ही वो श्री गुरुब्यो नमः हरि ही ओ